It's a game I'll never forget. Gave away two intercepts. Uh, missed a couple of goals in front, and by the time half time came around, we were already down, I think, 28 7 or 28 0. So it was, a, it was a tough day at the office. Brad Thorne had a chat to me. He told me a story about Darren Lockyer and how in his first test he had a shocker. Gave me a little bit of motivation and here we are now uh, about to play a grand final and you know, things could have been different uh, 12 months ago. I guess we've just grown as a team. Um, not only me, guys like Elliot Dixon and Aaron Smith and Malakai, you know, Nasi Manu being an inspirational leader for us and you know, guys who have been here since sort of 2011. Downtown Tony Brown, he, he's, a, he's a character, he's, a, <laughs> he's awesome, you know, he's awesome not only for the backs but for the whole team and he likes to enjoy his rugby, you know, not only on the field but off the field as well and that's been a special part of this team is that we've We've remembered that rugby is just a game and to go out and enjoy ourselves and remember that um, you know so many people would love to do what we do and when, we, when we're out there playing he just tells you to express yourself and, and have fun. So uh, I think that's what we're doing. And the rim. You've got the oracle at the back and pretty much can do no wrong and then those flying Fijians who just run and pop up anywhere and everywhere and then you know, there's sort of the Barracuda, he's pretty slippery, and, and then you've got Muller, he's, he'll just do what he wants. It's just been a belief in this team that we could, and being in Forsyth Bath, that full house, and just the zoo going nuts, and family and friends in the stadium. He's over! Unstoppable! I intercepted like a thief in the night! Oh. I had all my family from Sydney there, and one of my other mates flying from Adelaide, and. Yeah, sort of just signing a few autographs and things and taking pictures and then next thing I know I turn around and there's a massive haka going on and it was pretty special and a moment I'll never forget. I'll tell you what, my credit card's taking a bit of a hit buying all the tickets, but um, it's, it's going to be a pretty special occasion. Um, obviously I grew up there, but when I run out onto the Caton, you know, it's nothing but blue and gold for me.